In this episode, I will show you how I wired one of the modules in my layout. Stick around. Hi, and welcome to a new episode. Today I'm building this um, station for the DMUs up on the uh, on the upper level. The reason I did this because I wanted to have somewhere else for the trains to stop besides the main station and uh, this way the DMUs will, uh, <coughs> will come into the sidings here. In fact they're only long enough for the DMUs. I'll show you. Please don't fall on the floor. Anyway, there. The siding is only long enough for that. So the top level will have uh, its main line clear, while the DMU can stop on either side of the station without obstructing the main line. <coughs> it will give it some extra uh, activity going on on the layout. This is the underside of this module. These are the wires coming from the point track. These are the frog. And these uh, four sets here are a pair for each um, uh, line and, and siding of the station. These are the other two points on the exit and uh, the, the wires for the track, it's for the points itself. So, I'll be using the uh, DR404, like I have on many of my other points, for these uh, four points, and I'll be connecting everything here. Um, as for wire management, I like to... Let me see here. <laughs> Let me focus. Focus. Nope. There. I like to staple, I like to shoot staples into the wood, but not flat down. So I put something and I use this, it's a bit of plastic I have. And I shoot the, the staple over it, so it doesn't go flat right inside the wood. And then I have to dig out half of it. So this way it remains, uh, it remains uh, extended out a bit. So I can put zip ties under it and I can tie the cables with the zip tie and keep them as neat as possible um, uh, to keep them away from the trains that would pass under this board. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with a bit of wire management. I'm going to clean all this up and I'm going to connect them here and then I'm going to explain what I did. Okay, most of it's done. Uh, I'm going to explain uh, briefly what I've done. Um, these are two of the blocks here, which will go over to the bridge. And they come in here and here. Sorry, here and here. Look, one, two, three, four, five, and six are six different blocks. They are the four. Uh, at the station and the two at the end towards the bridge. This here is a, a direct um, DCC supply to the uh, track on the uh, to the rails on the points to power this. Sorry, the signal into this. I will be powering this with a separate power supply, and also here to supply the. Uh, uh, the uh, micro switches on the servo uh, mechanism to uh, determine which polarity the frog gets. I have a pair here and a pair, a pair on the side. They will feed the uh, the point motors here, which I will be doing next. These are for the uh, frogs, one, two, and one, two. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Now I will drop one, two, three, four, five, six cables, which will go to the uh, uh, 
there it would be top there somewhere and uh, here there would be a direct supply like i said and this is the common for it all okay so i've installed these two uh, point motors here and not wired yet i uh, just wanted to show you what they look like before i wire them and i have these two wires here which will supply the correct polarity this one luckily goes here this is just long enough <laughs> i'll bridge that over to the other side as well now those two now the other two are wired and ready and uh, quite simple to understand what's happening here you have your black wire and your red wire your black wire is going here <coughs> and depending on which side this uh, servo horn is it will activate the uh, respective um, uh, micro switch and will supply the frog here in this case for this point here um, um, with the correct polarity uh, note this is supposed to be done with one micro switch but in the past i had issues where the horn would still be moving and uh, <coughs> sorry and uh, the polarity would have switched but the blade on the point would still be in the in the first location and they would end up shorting so to cut a long story short and avoid a lot of problems i used uh, both micro switches for the uh, for the frog polarity instead of uh, polarity and maybe signals i have signals if i want to i have these connectors here which at the moment i am not using but uh, i mean they came with, with with the module so why not i'm going to use those if i want signals so uh, i'm going to finish this one off here and then put the put the whole thing in, in its place and uh, take it from there okay as you can see i have finished installing the module back in place i also finished off the track all the way around to meet that junction there okay and i have also gone the other side and reached the bridge crossed it and connected to the uh, other side of the loop <coughs> uh, for the time being here <coughs> uh, i just put a uh, the correct size piece of track from here to the other side just to be able to get across and, and uh, around the track and um, the uh, the board as you can see is not fixed it's got no hinges so for the time being i'm gonna have to pass under the bridge have to bend, bend down <laughs> uh and pass under the bridge because the the building of of that bridge and lifting it up and all the connections will be a separate video so uh, it's all wired and it's all done i can control it for my train but i still can't do any automation for now uh, it will be a couple of weeks before that so for the time being i'm gonna let some trains go by i don't think i'm gonna drive these I think I'll just leave them parked there and I'm going to show you some freight trains going by through the uh, on the main track there in between okay until then
And this is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, I would appreciate you leaving them at the bottom of this video. Have a nice day and be safe. Until the next one.